Hello everyone. Today I will discuss assignment eight for the course introduction to short computing. In this assignment, question one, four, six are little bit tricky, so we have to take care. Question one. In this question, uh, we are given statement. We are given f x is equal to this one, and just we have to find the derivative. And the derivative of this is this one. And after that, we have to rearrange. And when we will rearrange, then this will be equal to option C. So correct statement is option C. I already verified, and you can also verify. Question two: In which of learning method uh, in the following? Those neurons which respond strongly to input strongly have their uh, weighted updated. So correct answer is option A. That is competitive learning, and uh, this is the validation in competitive learning. Those neurons which respond strongly to input strongly have their weighted uh, weight updated. Right. Question number three: Competitive learning is a form of So, competitive learning is a form of unsupervised learning. Therefore, uh, correct option is B. And in the last year question paper, it is also asked what is the uh, Hebbian learning is a form of. It is also a part of unsupervised learning. So, competitive learning is a part of unsupervised learning. And this is the validation that learning techniques. So, in unsupervised learning there are habian and uh, competitive learning right and it may be uh, in the final exam uh, under supervised error correction gradient descent yes stochastic or back propagation or least mean square and then this portion can also be covered in final exam so you have to prepare as per the final examination question 4 fuzzy genetic hybrid system is so uh, fuzzy when we will put this question on google so every answer is possible but as per the investigation my investigation and this question is asked was asked in the last previous year so fuzzy logic controller fuzzy logic controlled genetic algorithm so correct option is b and this is the value Validation that uh, fuzzy genetic hybrid system is so correct option is accepted answer that is B so fuzzy logic controlled genetic algorithm right fuzzy logic controlled genetic algorithm question five which of the following statement is wrong about the learning technique in ANN right so first three statement are correct this learning is performed by modifying the weight definitely when we update the weight by stem then learning is executed learning is performed through multiple iteration and definitely when we put multiple iteration iteration 10 100 15 so number of iteration will be higher then learning is uh, increased many of the learning technique utilized gradient descent method to optimize the training trainable parameter absolutely correct statement learning is done by changing the number of hidden layer in the uh, layer of the ann architecture this statement is wrong because uh, number of uh, hidden layer depend upon the complexity of the problem if the complexity is very high then number of hidden layer will be more so its relation with the learning is mm, not feasible so this is the validation that option d learning is done by changing the number of this is uh, in architecture is wrong okay so number of hidden layer in an especially chosen based on the complexity of the problem and rest of the three statements are correct question 6 as per neural network terminology the term feed forward and back propagation okay so what they indicate i am giving you directly the correct statement forward propagation of input information from input layer to output layer okay feed forward propagation and back propagation of error from output layer to input layer when when there is a, any error then we have to uh, minimize that error from output to input section we have to 
forward this error so after that so in the forward propagation we have to pass the information from input to output layer and in uh, uh, in back propagation we have to pass error from output to input layer so correct uh, answer is option d this is the validation so this is a very simple and uh, i don't think so the validation is required question number seven for the same size of training data as input the fastest learning technique is okay so supervised training with gradient descent error correction so this one is the correct answer but sometime supervised training with stochastic method is also a option uh, and both these options are wrong so out of a and b i am prioritizing option a is the correct one and uh, as in the last year questions paper and the same question is being asked so in that supervised training with gradient descent error correction so accepted answer is a that's why i put the option a question 8 which statement is true about the supervised learning approach okay so correct answer is d in supervised learning an error is computed between the true and predicted output very correct statement a network learn by minimizing this error definitely it is also correct so if we will see the rest of the statement in supervised learning the output pattern is not provided in our in supervised learning output pattern is always provided that's why it's wrong in supervised learning an learn from the internal structure of the input data and without any help of the output pattern class level it is already level that's why it is wrong supervised learning follow the reward penalty mechanism no it is followed in reinforcement learning that's why this option is also uh, wrong so only correct answer is option d so this is the statement and in the last year of question paper in supervised learning training data set include both input and output <coughs> okay and this is another explanation validation question number nine in supervised learning incremental change dw in in any weight w is given by this this is so then the in the next iteration the weight w needs to be increased decrease and definitely it will be decreased and this is the validation same question the supervised learning negative sign is used to signify the fact that then we have to decrease v so some kind of information and this is the another validation so it should be decrease okay option b decrease is correct question number 10 a batch mode of training is generally implemented through the minimizing the mean square error minimizing the mean square error so correct answer is option d and this is the validation it is also being asked in the previous year question paper so thank you so much and uh, uh, today we got some mail from the nptl and uh, some of there are some discrepancy in the answer and uh, right now it is resolved and uh, in most of the assignments and uh, now we are fetching 100% accuracy thank you so much for all of you and i will upload uh, three to four videos for examination purpose uh, which will cover important topics so thank you so much and uh, we will best of luck for the uh, final examination thank you so much